we've got a couple games. We got three games tonight and three games tomorrow. We have an outside chance of making the playoffs. Very, very outside chance of making the playoffs. I also lost the bet. And which I could be in better position to possibly make the playoffs if Rabbit didn't go ahead and have his team beat mine. We were friends, but you know, whatever. Uh, so we lost, I lost the bet. So this hybrid build that I have right now is... I don't really want to say this, but I've been using it for a while now. And because I've been using it for a while, it's really, really, really good. And I hate that it's really good. I've not used it. I know you guys have not seen me use it for the simple fact that I was trying to find ways to discount it. To make it not good. To make it me not like it. And I, I haven't been able to find anything. I haven't been able to make it terrible or make it bad or make it not good. Um, so simply because I lost the rabbit... I'm not going to go here and put on some random uh, build just to not show this build. I'm going to play with this build. Um, but it's it's really good. It's annoying. Based on all the concepts that I've shared on YouTube and what I've learned, I was able to build this build. Didn't want to like the build. It's disgusting. That's what we're going to be using. Come here, buddy. Love you. Let's do it, boys. Thank you. Everybody ready? Why the heck would you edit your loadout? Come on. Should have been doing that while you're waiting. Oh. Probably just checking the hand or something. Wow. All right, so. Starting off at 50, which means we're going to be pinging to 100 and something. I know I get it. Do it, boys. <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't have been able to play a warm up. I may not even get through all three, but I'm going to try.
All right, so we are in a spot where we have to win every game. If we, if we want to give ourselves any chance to make the playoffs, we have to win every game. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, trust me, you're going to be mouse at this one. I've been using this build for almost a month. And I even went back to old games to see if the concept was the same. And it was, so I haven't been able to deny this build. I've used it every night I've played. It's just I haven't been able to disprove that it's good. There you go. So. play. I've never seen us do that play before. The Whalers move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. And it's tipped away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Pumps the puck away. Gains the zone. And we've got an offside with a face off looming. It's you. I have no clue what these guys want to do. Like zero clue. They've tried some stuff, but they haven't really set up anything. Okay. Um, Good pass. They could have taken some quick shots, but they didn't. So I don't. They've tried to go behind the net a couple times, but wasn't. They didn't try to wrap, nor did they try to pass it. So I'm not sure what they want to do. Split middle. Oh, good oh, save. Good try. Take 
neutral zone. Oh my god. From the neutral zone now. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Uh, uh, and that's intercepted. Oh. oh <laughs> I didn't think there was any way. No, that's Crazy. my bad. I didn't think there was any way he was making that pass. The pass had to go through two people all the way to the other side. I was just staying short side because I was like, there's no way. Yeah. When it's your first game, you do stupid oh, things like think logically. Like, that was the worst reaction I've ever had to anything. I wasn't even looking at that guy. I didn't think any way that pass should have gone through. <laughs> it's not like that mistake again. That's crazy. Oof. Okay. That was a good screen uh tip. Nobody. Yeah, my guy didn't pick it up at all. He looked around and then he didn't see the shot. Try and force it again. And they win that draw at center. And that pass goes to the stick. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice. I mean, that tip goal is whatever. Can't be mad at that. Um, first goal, though, was entirely my fault. But it takes me a period or so to get ready for these games anyway. But, um,. First goal, I just completely said no to the guy. Like, at this point, I'm like, there's no way he's going to get anything through here. He has to go through two guys right here. I automatically... <sighs> There's no way in any God's green earth. Like, how, bro? Like, I was like, no, he can't get that through because there's two guys in the path of it. And he somehow perfect pass through everybody. But don't underestimate anything when it's EA involved. So that was my. That was a good pass. Goalie was late. He almost got there, but he was late because the guy didn't even want to it. And he still had time for him to wait to catch up, and he didn't. Meant to be there. Still, but a little bit. Now he grabs the puck. 
Harden's been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the hottie. And he loses control. <laughs> Look how fast I am. <laughs> That's the biggest difference in using a hybrid. Just look how fast I am. I'll be gunning it to the bench. I got hopes and dreams when I'll be going towards the bench. Right into the fucking defenseman. Here's the thing, I don't feel like I'm part of the game yet. I don't feel like I'm playing. Because it's not like they're in the zone much. Or there's much movement. So it's like I haven't really gotten a chance to move. It takes a lot longer to uh, get, a, get into the flow of the game. When there's not much actual movement. Oh, good try, dude. They'll want to clear this zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. The Oilers take it from their own end with time running out on this man advantage. Tries to feed it over to Jordan. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power oh, play has expired. Well, the power play had a ton of ozone possession time, but it was all perimeter and they didn't find ways to move the coverage. It was easy as a PK, you to just stand in that box formation and not move. You have to find ways to create some motion and pull the coverage outside the dots. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Tulsa's got the puck. Passes ahead from the right side. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Receives the pass. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Oh, what a hip check of the old school variety. Beautiful. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Takes control of the puck. Takes it and looks ahead. Nice cut. Oh my god. Sick. The shots come from the middle of the ice and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position and he makes the save. Good try, dude. We'll get a reset. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. 3 2 is where we sit. It's a one goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Grabs the puck. Moves it quickly over to Stills. What a steal in his own end. Skates across the blue line. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Great reach with the poke check. Moves the puck down low. Mains playing it from the side. Picks up the puck. Slides it back to the blue line. Tulsa's got the puck along the wall. Gets it out of his own end. Oh, oh baby, dude. The turnover at center. And a quick little stick lift and comes up with the turnover. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Tulsa's gained possession along the boards. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Quick pass to Fontaine. The Oilers have it from their own end. Are they going to count that? <laughs> I've had that happen to me before where I tried to flick up but it didn't go and then I was stuck with the puck when I thought I did I was it was supposed to be gone 
and then it gets poked off me. There's the horn bringing period number two to an end. 40 minutes down, 20 to go. Third period action is coming up. Yeah, it looked like he thought he flicked it. He thought he shot it and kept going forward because it's just a follow through movement and he still had it. That, that's happened to me a couple times. It's gonna be our easiest game of the night, so I'll chalk this one up to anything good. Oh, he he doesn't shoot those for some reason. Like he doesn't one tee it, but those are all yeah, like they're all open. He just catches them for whatever reason and then shoots them. But shoots them to the same side. It's not like he goes opposite side. He holds it and shoots to the same side. I don't. Usually you shoot the opposite side when you hold it. But I'm guessing his 1T just isn't working. Maybe he's trying to 1T it, but it's not going for him. Because. Uh oh. oh. No pen. Almost out of the box. Power play has expired. Oh, wow. Well, power play is a Game's privilege, good. James. Trust me, I know. I was never on it. When you get out there, you have to have some urgency and find a way to get it to the middle of the ice and get some opportunities on net. There was none of that. Tulsa's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it to the middle. Good pass. That's the thing. It's, it's, as a defenseman, you have to learn not to just get... That's the only only criteria for this game for me as a, a goalie is stop getting beat down the sideline if you just get beat straight line on the sideline you're officially useless you don't you can't do much chasing like this game doesn't allow you to do much chasing now i have to set up to try to either short side or cross crease it's usually a disaster Oh. 
James. Right there, give it to him. Like, people wait so long, it's amazing. Like, people don't, people don't see plays fast enough. It's like, if he gave it to him early, he could have gone short side or far side. Because the goalie sees it, so he has to set up for it. Then you're like, all right. No way. I mean, like, you have to see that quick enough. That pass was even too slow. Like, he was wide open as soon as he touched the puck. I need more shots, even if it means I give up goals. I got to feel like I'm in the game to play the next game or to be ready to play the next game. It's like... I need more movement, not even shots, movement in the zone so that I'm following and seeing how my pushes are. <laughs> it's very hard to get into a game where all they get is rushes every like three, four minutes. Not because it makes you jittery. Mm. I mean, like, right there, right? I meant to move forward, but instead I moved right. Because it's normal for me to go left to right. Not because I'm not on the sticks as much. Normally, the puck is in that corner, move forward, then right. Move right. They took a shot. I would have a hard time saving it because I made the wrong movement. It's just because they haven't been in the zone. And this is my first game. So usually on the first game, I need work. <laughs> It's like I'm happy we're winning. I'm, I'm happy we're winning for it. But I want to win with a little bit of work so that I'm not still feeling brand new in the second game. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. So I mean, like, if that's going to be it all the time, like they just walk in and then try to angular it towards the and they try to hit go up hit cross creases I'm that's not good movement that is sit wait for a cross crease wait for a cross, that, that's not not good movement you don't get into the game like that you get into fake things that are not there you get into wow you get into like movement oh, that's jittery. Damn. It's it's so dumb. It. Like I, I didn't play that game. game like I know we won and I'm whatever, but I didn't play that game because I didn't get to move around. I still don't feel. I feel like I just hopped on the game. And that's that's what I mean. Like I'll take the win. I'm happy for it, but don't feel like I played. What up, Bacon Bits? How you doing, buddy? Nobody cares about you, Shuddy. Nobody does. I don't care. I hope we make it in the playoffs so I can knock you out. <laughs> 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 oh, hopefully the team ahead of us sucks. <laughs> That's the best way I could put it. Hopefully they suck. We can sneak in. 
he's coming back. He's just resetting his internet. He said he had bad ping. And he's from Chicago, so. All good. Uh, you want the code and everything for this one? Yeah. Once I get back in the lobby. Yeah, that's the reason I got a host is because I won't get in if I don't. Still waiting. Holy shit. There it goes. It's uh, LG4709. And we're away. And it's yep. QC. All right, so game down, game one down, we won. I wasn't a part of it. <laughs> I just moved around a little bit sometimes in that, and they scored. So I'll take those wins all the time. I'm sorry, Bacon, but if you had gotten a shutout, they would have had a chance to get a lucky goal. What is your problem? I don't see how you can't see that that's a great possibility. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. This, uh... That center was 6.5 million. It's crazy. Give me that body. Love you. That's just how much tougher this league is in comparison to last year. Both those guys went fucking. I don't know. I see a good goal, man. Season. Cleared a spot for himself and then right shot it into the wide open net. What is the problem? Plus 16. <laughs> like, this league's just tougher. <laughs> Dad, ready up. Oh, 
Whatever we gave that dude. 6.5 million's an idiot. Well, that's the thing. It's and stuff like that is why I tell people the game was never made for goalies. Right? The player's computer side of the game was made to always seek the puck, no matter what it where it is. The player's build is made to say, "Do whatever you can to get the puck towards the net. At, le at the least, get the puck." Goalies weren't built to do anything. Goalies were just built to be the sixth man. Because it doesn't make sense that you go into... Well, hold on. Not true, actually. Because the older games, they built the goalies to go after the puck. Which is why you got the hungry, hungry hippo and stuff like that. Right. But they didn't have the goalie's ability to not have to make stupid animations in order to go after the puck. So the skaters animation, they, they're great with that. They, the goalie animations are never as good as the skaters. So therefore, the stupid things that the goalie has to do the for his animations, the skaters will always beat that. It's like Uno reverse every time. Let's see if we can get this one. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon hey. us here. They are about Let's to go, play. Bill. Really been looking forward to see how these two teams match up tonight, and we are officially underway to find out. Along the half wall with the puck. Those are the worst. Nice poke, because that was terrible. Oh no, that was a good pass. God. That was actually a real... Why would you shoot that? That was actually a really oh good pass. God. That's probably where you should put that. In real life, that's where you should put that. He just tried to glitch me. Ugh. Ready to park and go play defense. <laughs> there you go. Good save. Oof. Oh, he 
set and attacking one's got to cash in. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Tulsa's is in now. The Lions had a hold of it in the defensive zone. Look at this down the right. The right D is in on every rush. <laughs> My body. One. To the midway mark of this period. Uh, Still no score in this one. Nice job tying up ball. his opponent. Quick pass to Jordan. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. And oh, they cough goodness. it up in the neutral zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Grabs the puck in the oh defensive God. zone. That's awesome. Huh? You bought me somehow. I like hearing that. I like when, when people feel like they have yeah, their perfect build or You're whatever. Because right it's like, you can always... Wait, was that a penalty? Or offside? Oh, um, You can always... The hardest part about this game is the actual gameplay. But when you have to question... When you have to question your build along with gameplay, the game gets even harder. But that's what we've had to do for go with our goalies forever. We can't just focus on play. That's the thing. Skaters get to just pick a build. Skaters for the longest get to pick a build and then sometimes they go bad and they switch a little bit, but they come right back. They usually go right back to the same build. When they realize it wasn't the build, it was just them playing terrible at that moment. Skaters very rarely switch builds. Goalies have had to switch builds since the dawn of time all the time, just trying to figure out what? Anything. <laughs> Um, because with this build, I make a ton of desperation saves, just by itself. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Green. The Oilers will start off on the attack after oh, winning the draw. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Oh, get out. Hey, <laughs> he didn't even move his stick. But I guess, you know what, that's a real thing in, um... In hockey, you can just put your stick down, but that's not what he was I doing. Stupid! Every time I get scored on, the buzzer goes off. Not a surprise. Every single time. That's just lucky. Uh. See. They're making up reasons for these people to score. <laughs> They're making up reasons for the skaters to score. He did nothing. It's just lucky. I thought we scored. I thought it was one. No, we didn't score. I thought we scored. Thought I had a poke on it, which I did. Fuck this game. Yeah, but I can't. I'm also the same person that says, you know, silver is hard to justify. So, it really doesn't matter to me. So, if it matters to them, okay, good. But, it's like the, the silver stuff is really hard to justify it, to tell you the truth, on any goalie build. So...
Oh my God. They're doing, okay. they're playing everything middle, and these guys don't know how to play middle. Like they don't know how to play rush middle. They're going to overcommit, and then the sides are going to be open. Ah! Oh. That's on me. I still don't, I'm not moving right yet. I'm not friggin' moving right because this count like my first game. It's so annoying. Ugh. None of my movements right. I'm double tapping movements. It sucks. Oh my god. I'm sorry, what? That opportunity is rejected. I'm absolutely shocked that that puck I'm really tired of right D playing friggin' right wing. On every possession we have, that one of the def de defenders are always part of down low. Every single one of them. Game animated me into that. Son. Nice shot. I think you can use most of the builds with no silver perk on us, to tell you the truth. Um, they don't really... It's one of those things, they don't really do much per se. So I... It's, it's like... I've used it without it and I didn't see any real difference. I've seen a hell of a difference with the silver perk. I mean with the, uh, the gold, so... It's one of those things. You feel incomplete without putting it on to tell you the truth, so you do it anyway. Ah. That's why I don't like this game. I poke it, I don't get it. And there we go, icing is the call. They need a steel puck, but I've been playing with it. Um I'm gonna look along with using this hybrid for like the last three, four weeks. I have been using tether pearls. So it's gonna come back. That's why that's why the adjustments now take me so much longer. Because if I don't get on, my mind and my fingers remember 
tether, but I don't want to use it yet. So it's like when I get on and I haven't played in a couple of days, three, four days, I get screwed. Oh my god, shit. It's like ridiculous, man. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the oh, ice. Oh, high man. danger scoring chances eventually go in. Poked away in the defensive end. Oh, Just get every bounce. 25 seconds. You know that your opponent is told to attack. All right, I'm starting to feel like I'm playing. It takes a while. It usually takes a period and a half. But because I didn't do anything in the first game, I'm, fine. I'm starting to feel like, I don't know, it, it's hard to say it's like when I'm not jamming on the controls. Like right there, I jammed on the control to go right, and then I was stuck because I was too far. My push was too far. My hand was already leading, leaning that way, and then boom, it comes back. It's really stupid. No. Builds are builds in this game. Um, I think the game wants you to be on the sticks more. Because whenever I'm just playing around, etc. When you're active and activated and moving, your guy seemingly is like a part of the play. So because of that, it's the game feeds on tether. So the build itself doesn't affect or help tether in any way but tether helps the game for you in that because it's like you, you the game wants you to play like this the game wants you to be like this all the time on the sticks the game wants you to be like that. if you can make a little movement and continue to the game wants you to do it game doesn't want you to just post up anymore it doesn't it wants you to be on the sticks all the time little movement keeping going this is how the game wants you to damn I'm tether makes that a possibility I, how, I thought i could get by them for real man has he ever known for this when he drops into that butterfly positioning he makes himself as big as possible so tough to beat because there is no get that dude the thing about this line is they always get a bunch of shots. They always get a bunch of shots, but it's like I would enjoy playing against our this line because I would get into the game way quicker. Because they take shots, they have quick movement, so I'm way into the game by like shot number six. I'm way into the game with with like playing against my line. The other the lines that play against us, they just use like streaks and then it's like I don't get to play. Try to force it. So I mean, it's like I don't get. It's like right there, he had it. He took the shot when the screen was there, but then there was a guy cutting across the middle. So it wasn't like movements of, of whatever. It was just they streak, they stop, they pass down. It, it's different. Don't worry. I always got those. <laughs> Wow. That guy's trying to freaking glitch me. Every shot he's taken from the corner has been that pass button held uh, shot. So I mean they're, they're not they're not passing the puck around. There's no real movement. They're just holding and waiting or letting them. So it's not like I'm getting to move the sticks around. I mean, they're, they're, they're playing the game for what EA intended the game to be played for. They're setting up all the nonsense they know EA gives them. So, you can't be mad at it, but I just can't get into the flow of the game that way. Whereas, my team goes there, we pass it to the point, there's going to be a pass down, there's a shot. It isn't wasted, like, you get to move, you get to face a shot, you get to, without this being the case. Without it being some hustle down, wait, so dumb, pass, dart across, like, powered up pass. 
It's enough. Xbox gets priority on pickups, and it's like, I don't understand. Yeah, I, 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 EA made this game for Tether. They just added in the regular controls because people are like, what the f But I think they should have left it and let people suffer, th suffer through it rather than changing it, me personally. But the game was definitely built for Tether. It wasn't... I can tell you this. If I wasn't scared of being caught in a slight movement with the way they were using the regular controls, I would move my guy like this all the time. Because he's more ready to make saves when you're moving him like this all the time. But I might get caught in a slight movement with a pass across. You know, stuff like that. So with the regular controls, it's not good. We got it. Nope. That's what I'm saying, man. That should be a poke check all day. Oh my Keeps possession up along the wing. Look out, here they come on the attack. And that pass is Give me the deflected. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Nice defense. Oh that was fantastic defense because that was a goal. Nice. Good. Look at that. Look at these interceptions. <laughs> Because I thought he Still time. I'm starting to feel like I'm playing. That's annoying because it's like I have three games, but if I don't All touch right, the uh, game in three days, it. it takes a while. That was poor. That was poor. I didn't like that game one bit. Didn't like that game one bit. We play this team again, we we can beat them. Uh, I didn't like that one bit. Yeah, that goal right there, I should have saved. Just. Ugh. Who we got last? <sighs> the Thunder. Oh, if you're the other goalie, good game, man. You played well. Um. It's just. Bounces is the name of the game sometimes, so you played well though. One more boys. I'd much rather us get outworked early. Like, in the first game, not lose. I, I'd rather get outworked. That means I'm uh, making more movement. I'm following the play. LG. I just can't not. I don't know how much I can and tell you guys how important that is for me. It's like when you get on and you're just playing with randoms, it doesn't matter because usually I'm on my phone. <laughs> 
you know, we use the M on my phone. I'm doing different things. It does. Um, so you eventually just get into the game because everything goes. These games, you get on, they start, they mean something. And I'm like, uh, okay. Forsberg finishes with 48. They ready? I don't know. Just search. I'll tell them we're searching. to come down to game 82. Pittsburgh needs a Washington loss and a Detroit loss and a win. All the games haven't been bad. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm oh, playing. I've played terrible, but season, it's not like know. we're getting beat yeah. or blown out or whatever it is. Tampa My like idea of terrible is I'm playing average right now, but it feels terrible like just ridiculous. simply because Dude. I'm not into the game. And it's I'm not like every fucking year. <laughs> I know. When I have Apparently to tell myself they, uh, in my head to, to stop that, watching the puck carrier, focus on the other guy, when I have to tell myself that, I am not ready. <laughs> it's just what I naturally do. So when I have to tell myself that in my head, I am not ready. Yeah, they should. That's where we're at now. Well, yeah, in the playoffs, they should. That's Yeah. Because, I mean, that's the only. I mean, that you right? spend more than a third of the season but Stone's on Stone's coming injury, back so. now, and they don't like they don't have to put anyone on LTIR because of the way the cap currently works. Like it's. Yeah, if uh, if you're on there for a third of the season, you shouldn't be allowed to play in the playoffs. That's I agree, dude. You need to hit a certain amount of games to be able to play in playoffs. Like yeah. 
I don't well, know. Well, I just think if you're on LTIR, be, like if you're on LTIR, you shouldn't be able to just magically come back for the playoffs. Yeah, like he's not ready game 82 because that would be that would mean they're over cap, so he's ready game one of playoffs. Like, yeah, because there's ridiculous. no cap. There's yeah. no cap during the playoffs. Yeah, which is stupid. Or what if they did that, but they can't play the first round? Yeah, that'd I mean, be they need to that. do more than that, I feel like. I don't know. It's ridiculous, though. It's every Part season. of it is... It, they've done that. Vegas has done that every season. They don't get paid for the playoffs. That's the reason there's no cap. It's like they their salaries are till the end of the year, but it's not like they get extra money for playoffs. Yeah, I think there's bonuses, I think, right? That's it. No, there's not even bonuses. You can't even give bonuses for winning the Stanley Cup. You can you can have it in your contract that you like incentives, but yeah, they can't even get like it's in the rule book that you can't give bonuses for like wins. Well, that's the, it's. Mm, oh, I don't. Uh, I don't yeah, care whether it's a it. if it's a game that I'm taking that's serious. Really it doesn't have to be a league game. That I don't, yeah, I don't really care. Um. I'd say this. I can get into games, or I can get myself into games if my team isn't allowing streaks and two-on-ones and holds and passes, oh, like right in front of the net. If they aren't allowing that, I can get into the game because it's more about reading passes on the outside. Like, getting into a game. When I, when I say get into a game, it's the movement of which I follow the puck with my hand. Right, and every movement is not the so same. Uh, cap hit when I'm not the, into it, uh, but when I'm getting into the game, every movement because you field. you feel the controls out. You feel it every you every push. You try to replicate the pushes, right? And sometimes, if you're following a, a guy, like if you're following a guy, and you know he's gonna try to go take you to a more to post, I know that's two pushes. But the, uh, in my head and doing it, Vegas, yeah, they're gonna fit. They're gonna fit in the game. Players. While I see somebody else on the other side, sometimes I try to get to the corner first Wait, oh, man, no, no, before no, he no. gets there, so Colorado. that I'm ready to get back. But then it, I might push my guy too oh, much. Yeah. Right now, so once I start, outside, but, if they actually pass oh, on no, the outside Dallas, or they pass around, because uh, sure? yeah, because. Uh, they're the second wild card team. Preds are the first wild card team. It says so that they're playing Kings. Yeah, that's wrong. Edmonton's playing the Kings. Um, at the moment. So it's Dallas like if we just allow people to pass around yeah, and not. Dallas. When you're facing two on ones or hold, wait for a, a cross crease, Dallas kind you're of jittery. And once you start getting jittery the from the start, it's hard to come back Dude, from that because it's wild. what you fucking it's what your body now knows yeah. your body knows i gotta get there i gotta do this i gotta do that right but you'll you see you stop breakaways better when you're so into the game when you're into really the game terrible. your movement is good when you've when you when you've done everything you're calm you go you stop breakaways all day lose. but when it's, it's a bunch happen. of streaks down the side or a pass down the middle to a you, you're you're antsy, and those movements affect the way you play the rest of the game. If you start out that way, it affects the way you play the rest of the game because you're you're you're, you're seeing ghosts at times because you'll see a guy open a pass may never be made, but here you are focused on it because that pass was made early in the game and you see it, you remember it. See it ending well for you. It's similar to the Blues from like the. 2012, 2011 through like to 2019 when we won it. When we were really good, we'd win the President's Trophy and then bounced first round against like Minnesota or something stupid. That's how I feel about Toronto. Like you guys are really good all season and then you get in the playoffs and then it's just we have got first a little round tougher, upset. We've gotten a little tougher than past years. Yeah. But yeah. I've also heard that um, just through like media and stuff like that, that uh, Toronto is they're easy to play against so and then you have stuff like this in league that happens all the time you can't just go into games you have to sit around yeah, like they, for 10 15 minutes for no reason 
your media is also fucked like ours is. Oh, Our media, all they do is shit talk Jordan Cairo, and all Jordan Cairo's done is put up three seasons in a row of almost a point per game play. Seven, like, yeah, we are fucked over here. It's but a joke. oh, there he goes. Of course, as far as I cancel the search. Huh. Oh, I got Nate Palm and Cody. Hey, buddy. But yeah, it's uh, it's kind of. This is the best ping I've had in a month, in this league. This is the Although, best ping I've had in a month Jordan, in this league. I just hope Bob doesn't just fucking. You guys are us. playing Florida first round. Because there are more yeah, Xbox I, guys I, than there I are really, PlayStation guys. Florida's you can't tell me that's not the reason. Up, I feel like. Yeah, but I like other Florida. Is Tampa and Boston. <laughs> is Florida healthy? Uh, they've been, I think they have one win within the last, I don't know how many games against the playoff team. So I think right now they're kind of in shambles. But, going to the playoffs. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. That's not a good way to go into the playoffs. No, it's not. But it's still, the way I see it was, I think last year we played against, it was either Florida or Tampa and we spanked them and it was like the end of the season and then once we actually play them in playoffs it's just a different game, right? So Yeah, yeah I don't playoffs know. Playoffs is so different. I just play hope, so much I hope heavier Matthews in playoffs. A goal though. I hope he hits yeah, seventy and then I, 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 that's what I want. Straight back. I know it doesn't matter, but it's pretty Yeah. Hockey, I hope he hits seventy. Can't fucking get off people, man. I just suck at being it. Feeds the puck to Costello. Here's a short pass to Jordan. Well, Diggs taking it from his own end. You reverse it. Reverse it. Yeah. Gives it right back. Quick pass to Diggs. Costello's got it along the way. Oh, lightning! Quick reflexes on the one timer. See, but right now I'm into the game. I can see three plays ahead. I'm into the game for the first time. Oh, damn, you even went far side. I was like, dude, man. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. It's like once, once I have my movement, then I can actually clarify who's where, who does what, who's dangerous, what's the likelihood of him passing here. Dave. Nice shot. Oh. He even moved, dude. Tulsa's ready to go on the attack. Whoa, how do you hit both? Got control of it now here in the offensive end. Battling for the puck. I don't know how this guy has the fucking puck. The Oilers have it now. Sends a pass over. Puck grab by Wu. Centering B. And that goes off the body and arrives. Gains the zone through the middle. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Adirondacks no. looking to break out of their own end. Moves it to Costello. Jordan's got it now deep inside his own end. Costello's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Great defensive effort with the stick. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Sends it down low. Moves it quickly over to Edling. And she's ah. knocked off the puck there. 
Tulsa's got it across the line. Adirondack's got a hold of it against the wall. Costello's lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Dinks. Handles the puck. Play is blown dead with the offside. Past the halfway mark of this period. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. Back. Yep. Split that day. Slides oh. in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Adirondacks got the puck against the boards. And a stiff break set up. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Go on board thing. On the heels of their blades trying to get it out. Fuck. Picked up along the boards by Edling. Adirondacks got it along the wall. And there's the save. Feeds it down low. Great save by the Tendy on the wraparound. Well, you gotta have a strong push if you want to be able to go post to post, kids. And that's exactly what he does to make the save. Well, goaltenders love the butterfly as he drops and slides across the crease. He makes the save. Over the line they come. And she's tied up trying to get past oh. the defender. Yeah, she pushes it by and thinks that her foot speed is going to beat the defender, but read perfectly and angled and squeezed out along the boards. Shit. <laughs> I had a hard fucking hell down. Strong defensive effort. Grabs the puck at center. Quick pass to Edling. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Money stick handling in his own zone. Sends it over to Dodanov. Picks up the puck in his own end. I mean, like, there wasn't any streaks. There wasn't any hard breaks in the middle. There wasn't any breakaways. So, therefore, I can move my guy, see how the lag is, set up my guy, know what my pushes are, and then once I know all of that and the game is going... Then I can see where the third, the second and third guys are. And I can see how I want to set up. If the guy is on the short side, maybe I want to give up a little bit short side if I see two dangerous guys standing there. Or fake it real quick and go back. Like, I can't make those decisions if if I'm jittery and following things and trying to figure out where the next cross piece is going to come from. Or is he going to beat them right in the middle? Is it, what, what stance is this guy? 55? <laughs> <laughs> and the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. What up, Bacon? Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? No fucking way. That's not you. <laughs> sure looks like you. <laughs> Turkey bacon. <laughs> Takes the feed. Grabbed along the board by Edling. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Tulsa's got a hold of the puck. Solid check to slow him down. Looking to make something happen along the board. Oh, nice. Let's go. What are they going to call there? Bumping I can't see what they're going to call here. Oh, he kicked I it. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Usually, if you hear music playing, it's uh, I have a goal. Oh, it's, 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 I have Dude stole your picture and commented as you. It's about as close to being you as it is online, bro. Oh! Oh no! 
EA tried to put that in the net so bad. I should have sent you on that first cut. And they lead as a result. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Picks up the puck. Makes his presence known on the ice. Ah, I almost got there. Don't step up, dude. I mean, it's not. Our problem isn't offense or, like, zone defense. It's those things. Like, we let up those things all the time. Like, it's our business. Look at this. Like, this is just, this is why we lose. Nothing else. Because somehow we always get caught in two-on-ones all the time. Um, 20,000. None of us picked that up. Oh, my God. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Right, I'm going to show you why I wasn't able to get to this, though. And I'll tell you, like, even though I feel better. Um, shoot. Then, Sorry, bro. I was reading a message. Usually what that this is why I wasn't able to get to it. What you're going to see here is right here. Ah. Chicago in like 2012 or something. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame. Could be 
She might have panicked here, James. Rushed the shot a little bit because you have to put it on net. We're often saying in the game, you got to outwork the goalie. Well, the goalie's not working if you're not hitting the target. You're right. Two down twelve. Early stages of this period, it's all tied uh, up. I have going board. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Oh, oh come on! I don't. I I've let in that goal maybe about ten times. I'm not sure what the game wants me to do. Maybe push right stick, because the puck keeps going towards the guy, and I'm following the puck the best I can. And he just somehow always is able to get it because the puck reaches him right there, close quarters. I guess. But I don't know what the game wants me to do there. Like, I guess I can right stick it. That's about it. Because I've let that goal in ten times. And each time I wonder, what the hell am I supposed to do there? I'm following the puck. The just gets every puck, man. I don't understand why it's so fucking prioritized. NHL 14. <laughs> the good old days. Before it went to shit. <laughs> and I got, these guys are all doing the same thing. And it's that cheat shot that I showed you in Discord. It's all the same thing. Yes, as an overall game, it's better. But I'm also saying that with the fact that I know that it doesn't get better for goalies. It's just you got what you got. If you could follow the play perfectly without like weird hiccups in the game and stuff like that, if you don't get EA'd, if you can do all of that, you you can be good in that. But those things are also a regular part of the game. So the shots that do redirect to the skater always going to happen. If they're too close and they try to take a shot, it's likely going five hole. Rebound animations where you get stuck. Doesn't matter how much energy you have. Tip in shots. Um, if you don't cover, sh if you don't over cover short side, I save. If you don't over cover short side, there is really no real way of stopping tips per se. No, he just knocked me down because I'm a fucking piece of shit, bitch. And they made it so that you can never put... There you go, nice pass. That you can never put... Um, you, you don't have a gold tip perk. Because everybody and their mother would put it in. It's, it's like the way they define tips in this game is... The, um, the greater the hand-eye the better it, the chance of the skater's ability to tip the goal the, the tip the, the shot where the goalie is not that is not how tips work in real life or in any life oh no oh thank god he blocked it see stuff like that like what exactly am i supposed to do with that like well, like 
come on. Why can I eat the pickup? Like, what exactly am I supposed to do with that? Like, I'm dead in the water. I'm dead in the water. On a, on a shot that didn't make it to the net, yet I'm bailing out as a goalie to save a shot that didn't make it to the net. And it takes me forever to get back up. And mind you, I have the best oh my recovery goalie in the game right now. So it's like, there's nothing you can do. So once you understand the game isn't made for you as a goalie, you'll have good times, you'll have bad times, you'll have great times, but no you don't control your faith. You do not control your own faith. You can play as well as you want at times and you're still going to get shafted. But you don't really control your own faith. So as long as you understand that, the game has always... The, those other games were a score fest. The like 20 to 23 was them figuring out the best way for the skaters to score. Nice save. 20 to 23 was them figuring out the best way for skaters to score. It was, it was just, no matter, you made the slightest mistake in any of those games and it was a goal. You were getting sniped from blue line on a regular. <laughs> no matter where you stood in net. So the, the game was never made for you. Like, you know what I mean? So as long as you understand that and you play to the best of your ability and you try to have as much fun as you have and realize there are going to be great games that are fun. And then there's going to be a lot of bad ones. I mean, so it, it's... And I, I can't actually be mad at the game for that because the game has given skaters so much ability that if you had players with better ability, then half the stuff shouldn't happen because the game has given the skaters the ability to prevent that. But how many of these guys you know care about defense like that? <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, but it's like tips, right? What do you mean it? The higher the hand eye, the uh, the better it is to put the puck where the goalie is not. That's not how tips work. The t shot comes in, and you try to change the direction of the shot. You don't actually know where the hell it's going to go. You try. Some people try to knock it down. Some people try to pull it, or let it hit the stick and go for it far. It's like. They don't have the ability to put it in a corner or put it, you know, they, they just try to change the direction. He didn't get to shoot. <laughs> I know, I know. I think it's just me, but I swear I've never seen a player not shoot against me. So it's like it's aggravating saying, "Oh, why don't those things happen when I'm about to get scored on?" I hate that man. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Stills. Here's a chance. That's a textbook save by Smotherman. Huge steal. 
No I don't way. get it. No, I don't steal these pucks, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Trying to end it. Tries to get it to Edling. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. With possession along the wall. Like, also, these guys don't understand. When you're in crunch time, force things. The game will dictate the game. You don't try to get cute with it, force things. If there's nothing there, just put it on net. Not even a shot. Pass it towards the net. It'll bounce. It'll bounce. That's the way the game works. It'll bounce. She takes the feed. No, how did he poke that? God damn it. Costello's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Quick feed down low. Oh, they it's the it. pass and he picks it off. And he easily stops that one. Now a quick pass to Jordan. And oh, wow, well, I missed him. After that missed pass. No way! No way! Just absolutely no way! <laughs> if that, if I had the my uh, butterfly build, that's that's a dime of a pass. I'm so tired of him getting that shit. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up yeah. in the air. Whistle blows stop. Like I I don't understand the dude. I'm out. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm on the I'm on the oh. and still have that mobility well down to keep oh. up and make a stop, guys. Game was never built for goalie. Early in this the life of this game, early games, the games are built for goalies to be successful. Not, not now. Nice. Too many people scream when they can't score from anywhere, doing anything. Oh my god, fuck this fucking game. 18 seconds. Moving into the attacking zone. Lifts the puck into the offensive zone corner. Feeds it down. Here comes the force. Here comes Sacrifices the body. Time's up on the man advantage here in Just put it on net. Why are they, they... These people act like they never played this game before. Thank you. Just put it on net. The game will find a way to it's score. It. It's the dumbest thing. If you don't overplay it, yeah, the game will find a way for you to suck. Okay. First of all, I hate this guy's stance with a passion. It pisses me off something awful. I, I don't know what this is. <laughs> this stance pisses me off something awful. <laughs> So, you know what? Screw him. This stance is just trash. <laughs> Look how many times he has to shuffle his feet just to get over. Look how many times. Look how many times. Like... So, this is what I mean. Like, the difference between this game and the previous two games. It's like... If I get a chance to get into the game, or maybe I get on earlier, but that's not possible most of these nights. I just don't have it in me. Shit, I can dude. get on, I can play. But if I could get on and I could play beforehand, the difference in this game versus the previous two of which I felt like I wasn't even ready to play oh, yet, yeah. 
is the difference in how we go, how we win. It's annoying. But I don't know how to... I can't change it because I can't get on early. But I need to play a team that heavy rotates the puck. So I can judge and go through. It's weird. Um, Let me show you the... I want to show you this because you might think it's it's them, but it was actually me. Um, not not them. No, nah, not this one. That's the dumbest. I don't know what I'm supposed to like. The guy picks it up, and he is somehow able to just shoot perfectly. And me, unless I hug the post, it's dumb. This one, right? So I'm about to show you why, and you yourself, but I know for me, this is why I'm late on cross creases or I'm late on, um, like, any one-timer in itself, right? So if I had a team that I could be like, listen, this is what I see. This is what I do. This is what I want, right? So you see how this guy's coming here? He never has to go here. He can literally just stand over here, stay close to the guy, and back up. I got this guy. It's not a, not a worry to me. But what's going to happen here is this guy's going to come down, come down. All right. You see right here? When he gets right here, I have to cover the post. When he gets there, it's just I have to cover the post. So you're going to see me make one. I don't. I'm guessing that's what I'm going to do because that's what I know I would normally do. So when he comes here, I'm going to make one more move towards the post. There you go. And I overshot it. I didn't want to overshoot it. I overshot it. So what's going to happen is I'm going to try to make an adjustment here, but not make it obvious because if he shoots, I'll be caught in the adjustment. So because I was going to make the adjustment, he, he caught me and I wasn't fast enough. He caught me in an adjustment right there and I wasn't fast enough. It wasn't that I could save this if I hadn't overshot. If I, my, I had put my foot here, here like I wanted to, I would have been fine. But because I put it here, I was trying to adjust my guy to get back on the line. and he made the pass in my adjustment which made me slow to react it's not i didn't it's not like i didn't push all the way i was making two moves in one so i ended up short Yeah, 1920 stance. Yeah, you got that old school stance. But yes, because they've made it for skaters to score easily with their perks, you have to overplay everything. And yes, that leads to them not being able to be in position for the pass. And the passes are faster than you can move, which makes no sense. What they need to try to do is add a side to side like every movement should be side to side and you should be able to have to hold rather than hold to go fast you should be able to hold to make many movements right and when you let go you make a big movement from from uh line to line all your movements should be from line to line every movement should be from line to line and then if i want to hold right trigger or whatever it is to make smaller movements then I should do so. But once I let go of it, then my guy goes line to line. Look, look, I I just thought of that and I would save this goalie thing for EA tenfold. I just thought of that and that would save goalie tenfold. You know what I mean? But they had the concept. Only thing is they made you make this angular cut. Stupid angular cut when they tried to implement it in the, old, in the older games. It, rather than it just being you move from line to line, line to line, and every movement in between 
Let me control that in between moves. Yes, the stupid T pushes that when he doesn't turn his entire body and try to go to the other way. Yes, but just let us regularly go side to side, line to line, line to line. That's it, line to line, and then every movement in between, I control it. But it's EA. Skaters can't be happy at uh and do their thing if you can play well. So. It took two out of three. Honestly, if I was if I was able to play better in the second game, we would have took three out of three. So yeah, we took two out of three. Great, but if I was able to be into the game much earlier in the second, um, we would have been better. All right, boys and girls. See you tomorrow. We got three tomorrow.